Finally, the mysterious fourth rock from the Sun has been targeted by the world's most powerful telescope, the James Webb Telescope. On September the 5th, Webb began transmitting the first images and spectra of Mars. The images were released on September the 19th. The intriguing images are nothing short of fascinating. They show a breathtaking Mars that even geographically seems to have once hosted oceans. For more than a hundred years, space scientists were obsessed with Mars, our closest neighbor. All the data they tirelessly collected over the years pointed out that Mars was once a lush habitable planet with a thick atmosphere and oceans that for some mysterious tricky reasons vanished. Now with the help of Webb, they will solve the mystery and just perhaps path the way for effective, safe, practical human colonization of Mars. Stay tuned to learn more about the planet that is bound to become humanity's first true space colony. The planet that will turn us into multi-planetary species. And what Webb is doing to help us achieve these goals. In 1610, the Italian astronomer, physicist and engineer Galileo de Galilei observed Mars and opened the gates of the heavens to the endless fascination and imagination of the human race. In the following centuries, countless astronomers spent much of their lives perfecting telescopes just to explore Mars with more detail. In the 19th century, some astronomers such as the famous Percival Lowell believed that the network of long, straight canals on Mars hinted at a possible current or ancient long-gone advanced civilization. In the 20th and 21st centuries, further discoveries hinted that Mars not only was as habitable as Earth in the distant past, but even occupied by an vast ancient alien civilization that vanished when its oceans and atmosphere disappeared due to reasons the scientists have still to decipher. Now we can do just that with the help of the James Webb telescopes. Targeting Mars with Webb was always on NASA's mind. In fact, since the early days when Webb was still under construction, a project called the Guaranteed Time Observation Project was established to provide dedicated guaranteed time for the exploration of Mars by Webb. The recent images and spectra images of Mars, which are still being analyzed by scientists, are part of cycle one of Webb's observation of Mars, and more cycles will be followed in the future. Earth is the third rock from the Sun and Mars is the fourth. Nevertheless, its proximity to Earth does not mean the sending man missions is easy. The distance is quite vast, and technologically speaking, we still do not have the means to do it safely. The Moon is much closer to Earth, and we have been there only once. Mars is about half the size of planet Earth, has 38% of its gravity, and takes longer to complete an orbit around the Sun. But interestingly, it rotates around its axis at about the same speed as Earth. One year on Mars lasts 687 Earth days, and one Martian day is exactly 24 hours and 37 minutes. As exciting as this information sounds, Mars is still engulfed in a thin, mostly carbon dioxide atmosphere that periodically becomes also rich in methane, which means we humans cannot breathe there and would die instantly without a spacesuit. In fact, if you tried to breathe on Mars without a proper spacesuit, you would suffocate immediately. And because of the low atmospheric pressure, your blood would literally boil. Sounds pretty ugly. Nevertheless, truly massive amounts of water are trapped in the red planet's polar caps and buried beneath its barren, rigid desert surface. Which means, once we arrive there and begin colonizing it in big dome structures, we will have water to drink, bath, fill our swimming pools, and more importantly, farm. And thus, have plenty of food and maybe some fish. The images of Mars captured by Webb so far confirm beyond any doubt what scientists suspected for a long time. Indeed, the Martian surface features are unquestionably a result of ancient flowing water. These features hint at branching streams, river valleys, basins and deltas. The images also appear to confirm that its northern hemisphere, once in the distant past, had a vast ocean covering it. Other places on the red mysterious planet signaled that rainstorms soaked the landscape, lakes pooled, and rivers gushed for a very, very long time. Enough for carving the planet's terrain. Do you know what this means? It means that once upon a time and for the duration of hundreds of millions, or even as long as a couple of billions of years, 
Mars was wrapped in a thick atmosphere and covered with forests where Martian life forms roamed the land. And just perhaps, an advanced civilization existed. What Webb helped us uncover, or rather confirm so far, along with the fact that life on Mars flourished when Earth was still evolving and inhospitable only drives us to imagine and wonder. Did an advanced Martian civilization look at Earth billions of years ago as a future home? And did they find ways to contribute to Earth's evolutionary process to make it compatible with their biology? Are we Martians? We know that Mars was once alive and now is dead, but how and why? All we know right now, but also about to solve with the help of Webb, is that at some point Mars went through a very dramatic transformation and went from Earth-like and became the dusty, dry husk we see today. The question now is, what happened? Where did the water go? What happened to the atmosphere? Why did Mars become a dead planet? Thankfully, Webb is helping us decipher the momentous shifts that took place in the Martian climate that fundamentally altered the planet and rendered it dead. It also allows us to look for biosignatures, aka signs, that might reveal whether life was truly abundant on the planet in the past and if there are still some types of microbiome or other underground life forms that survived the massive, rather cataclysmic transformation. All in all, Webb is about to solve so many important Martian mysteries that will encourage us to cherish Earth more and prepare for a better Mars colonization project. Think of Webb as an advanced superior robotic scientist because it is helping researchers do quite amazing things and reach stunning accurate conclusions that hopefully will be shared with us soon. It is helping scientists estimate how much water was present on the red planet and how it all vanished by measuring the abundance of two slightly different forms of water in its atmosphere, which are the normal water we all know, H2O and heavy water, HDO, in which one hydrogen atom is replaced by naturally occurring deuterium. The preferential escape of light to hydrogen over time would then lead to a skewed ratio of H2O to HDO on Mars, indicative of how much water has escaped into space and also determine how water is exchanged between polar ice, the atmosphere and the soil. Webb will be able to measure this ratio at different times, seasons and locations. Webb will also solve the mystery of the methane plumes that seem to periodically appear in the Martian atmosphere. What is cool about this part is the fact that methane is often generated by bacteria. And as you already know, where there are bacteria, there is evolution and life. Additionally, Webb will capture many images and spectra with the spectra resolution needed to study short-term phenomena like dust storms, weather patterns, seasonal changes, and the various processes that occur at different times on Mars, such as daytime, sunset, and nighttime. So what does the future hold for Mars? Once every 26 months, Earth and Mars become aligned in a way that minimizes travel times and expense enabling spacecraft to make the interplanetary journey in roughly half a year with the type of technology we currently have. Right now, Webb is providing extremely valuable data that once combined with other data collected by the various robots, currently NASA and other space agencies operating on Mars, that interplanetary journey will become a safe bet of success. All that said, I am obligated to inform you that observing Mars with Webb it's not all that easy, because Webb is designed to be able to detect extremely faint and distant targets. But Mars is bright and very, very close. Thus, scientists are being extra cautious to avoid swamping Webb's delicate instruments with light. Do not take this as a bummer. It only means that things will not take place as fast as we all wish and please. In conclusion, Mars will be conquered and colonized. It will turn us into multi-planetary species and its resources will be used to build massive dome cities with factories producing spaceships that will take us deep into the far edges of our galaxy and eventually beyond. This is not science fiction. Right now, there are a few corporations working on designing 3D printers that can operate on Mars. These printers will use the soil and water of Mars and combine them with other ingredients to establish large structurally sound habitats that require very little to no resources from Earth. Keep your fingers crossed and your imagination in full throttle. What was a mere dream and fantasy yesterday is bound to become the reality of tomorrow.
Space is not the final frontier. It is merely the beginning of a whole new massive incomprehensible front for exploration and human expansion. For more awesome videos, subscribe, share, comment if you like, and do not forget to hit the notifications button. Because we are always working to bring you the best, most accurate, awesome space and astronomy videos.